previously on RL Graph. My map is a mess, and there's literally this nice little line of towers right here. And I was thinking, you know, what if we do an episode where we see how many mob towers we can kill in an episode? Ooh, this had three full XP tomes. My dude. Oh, we got a Wither Skull. Give, give flesh. Give flesh. Give, give flesh. Give, give your flesh. Skin. Take, I take. Give, give. Yes. How many is that? 12 scales? You guys are cheap dragons, you know? Also, it's kind of funny. I started using the word pog a lot. Is a pog dog. At first, it was ironically. Oh, I didn't open it with the right thing. But now I'm over here saying the word pog unironically, and I'm kind of mad at myself. Villagers be like, you want carrot? I got carrot, please, Becky Lem Smash. What is up, everyone, and welcome back to Arlcraft episode 30, the big 3 0. -oh, we finally hit 30, everyone. I am. I am pretty happy that we've gone this far. Um, today, we have a lot to do. We're going to work on our villager farm. So couple things need to happen um i need to i think this is the end of this house over here to be entirely honest i think i'm going to break this this episode i think let's, let's say say our goodbyes to it and this auto smelter that i need to move and this chest full of crap that i need to clean um we're gonna move all of our dogs over as well um so first things first we do have to move a lot of the stuff that is over here oh oh boy okay this is a bunch of the lapis that I did get. It's too much for this chest, so yeah. But yeah, we're going to make a new enchanting area. We're going to move all of our bookworms. We're going to start moving our enchantments. And we're going to start working our, we're going to work on our villagers. It's going to be it's going to be a good episode. Also, real quick, I just wanted to say thank you guys for 3000 subscribers. It means the world to me. I am so happy that you guys really enjoy the series and that the channel is growing and we're making a really cool community. So I just want to say shout out to all of you for helping me hit that- oh, 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 wow, okay. For helping me hit 3k, and if you are new, why don't you go ahead and join the channel? There's a lot of cool people in the comments, and there's a lot of good content to come. So, how am I going to move these guys, is the question. Should I just bust open the roof from my rock, to just kind of like come skill crane them? So, like, if, I'm kind of scared of having an open... I mean, I guess the whole area is already kind of open anyways. I was also thinking maybe I could go get some uh, Aegises that spawn in the area. I'm not sure why Aegises haven't been spawning. I should have enough villagers that Aegises... Words, English. Aegis, Aegises should spawn. So, I'm not quite sure there. Uh, we are going to need... So here's the kind of idea that I had. I was thinking like villager breeder over here, uh, or maybe over in that corner. And then this wall is going to continue this kind of villager setup. Um, I need to move my nymph over to here because this guy, I don't think is being healed. I don't want to test that out by hitting him or anything, but um, this guy has the particles of healing. This guy does not. And typically everything that's being healed will have those particles. So. I don't think he's being killed. Also, this guy, I don't know, I don't think I showed him last episode. He's just a looting three guy. I know advanced looting is a thing, but I I had I figured, you know, might as well get him. I saw him. And I was like, yeah. I don't know how Fenrir got over here. I just sat him. He has damage, so he took damage. But I couldn't see anything that could have been attacking him, so little concerned about that. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go get some supplies ready. Uh, we're gonna make little spots for each individual bookworm so that way we can feed them. I was thinking this right here will be the enchanting table since this is our enchantment storage. I don't think I showed you it in the last episode. Well, two episodes ago, since the last episode was a huge looting bonanza. Um, speaking of that looting bonanza, I actually forgot. I had two extra shulker boxes. I did not show you what I got from. So I don't remember exactly what was in them. But I did get more dragon scales and more loot than I had said. So those numbers were off. But we're doing pretty good on dragon scales. Um, and I know a lot of people in the comments keep asking or saying like, Hey, you know, tight armor's not the best armor. I'm not playing the update. I don't have the updated dra ice and fire. So tight armor is the best update. Or the, the best armor. 
um, until I do decide to try to upgrade, I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, one of these episodes we will try, it's just most likely the world will be corrupted if I do that, so yeah. Uh, this guy has Rune Resurrection, which says when the user, must be a player, dies, they will respawn at their death point with their items intact. Uh, I looked it up and it doesn't work. Because, I mean, it's broken, let's be honest, that's a broken sounding enchant. But I looked it up and it does not work. Um, I would like to try to farm for villagers that are librarians specifically. So we could test out if we breed two librarians, if that would make another librarian. I'm gonna have to look it up, I'm not quite sure how the breeding works for 1.12. I, I know the village and pillage update, but that's that's kind of it. So real quick, I'm going to get a whole bunch of hoppers and we're going to work on our bookworms. All right, so I got some supplies. I'm not really sure quite where I want to go with this room exactly. I've got like some ideas. I'm just not 100% positive. Also, it really feels like every time I record outside just gets super windy. Uh, I grabbed my compasses too because I wanted to feed our one villager. Villager. Which one of you wants compass? It's you, right? No, it's you. Eat the compass. Oh, they trade something else to unlock. Oh, wow, it is. Are you for, Are you for real? I gotta trade paper. I do need to automate my sugarcane farm. So maybe I can put a sugarcane farm in here as well. I'm not, I don't, maybe not in here, but I was going to make one with observers. I think observers are in this version of Minecraft, I hope. Yeah, cool. We got observers. So I can make a quick, easy uh, sugarcane farm for that. Um, but we're going to get some bookworms. I think first we're going to build our enchantment table area. So I have to work on lighting in this room as well. Yeah, lighting is, is a little rough. Since I put this here, um, by the way, this is what the top of my building looks like at the moment. It is, uh, like I said in the last episode, it's rough. Um, it will, it will eventually look nice. The outside's not what I'm most concerned about. Um, so I kind of decided maybe to try this out a little. Kind of interesting. I, mm, I don't, I don't know. Uh, this is why I don't build on camera too often. Like, I'll do some building on camera, but I'm super <laughs> indecisive. And it takes a long time for me to decide, you know what I actually would like to do. See, that looks a little bit like it's too much... It's all just book. It needs something else. Like, it can't just all be book like that. I mean, what if I made, like, demon brick stairs and used that as, like, a... way to kind of, like... No, that's that's really rough already. Oh, well, may maybe. Kind of, like, a way to ease into it. Color-wise. Like, what about if I do, like... That looks even worse. That looks pretty awful. Um, uh, I'm not, not digging that at all. I mean, I like the idea of the stairs, but it really clashes with the... That is not what I meant to do. Really clashes with the wood. I mean, I don't know. It's okay. It's not awful. <laughs> it certainly could be better, but it certainly could be worse. And then I was thinking like a little... um. Like an anvil area next to it maybe? Like maybe we can grab some like anvils and crafting benches. I don't need furnaces. Don't really need chests either. We'll grab some more of these just in case I decide to use them. I haven't done anything with brewing yet either. What if we make like a wall of anvils for the meme? Like what if we just do like... Like what if we do like anvil? And then crafting bench. Oops. And then anvil. And then it's like anvil, crafting bench, anvil, crafting bench, anvil, crafting bench. And then just crafting benches. Oh, that. You know, actually. That. I don't know why, but I kind of actually like that. It's ridiculous, but I kind of like it. So we got our anvils, we got our crafting benches, and then this could be like the cutoff area, I, I suppose. I don't know little whack looking i mean it's not it's not awful looking for sure it's definitely not awful um 
So we do got to get our bookworms in here. And I was thinking, so the bookworms are going to need some hoppers and some chests, right? So they're going to be kind of off the ground. And I need to figure out, you know, what is their radius for dropping their books, right? Where are my chests? I swear I had chests in here. I have nine. That's not enough. All right. It's time to, I got myself some leads. Don't have to worry about it. Um, it is time to go get these boys. That should definitely be enough space. So we're just going to call in our rock. And one by one, we're going to grab them. See, I'm not sure if I want to breed more of them or not. Because in the odds that I do, I, I don't even know which one he is. Nope, nope, mm-mm. You go there. Yeah, so in the odds that I do want to breed them, I need to have two breeders set up in a nice little spot where they could just breed. Because the rest of them are going to kind of be in their own little, like, chambers. So I need, I need to go downstairs first. I need to see exactly who is who. Because the one that is level 17, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I'm not going to kill him or release him. I want him to be like our friend. It's him. I definitely do need to breed these guys more. All right, that's two gold boys. Look at them. They're so freaking adorable. Look at how adorable you are. Look at it. I don't know why I didn't just come in from the top part like this. That would make so much more sense. <gasps> oh, that's weird. Um, rock, rock. I I didn't mean to. Rock, please. Is he still on? Oh, I've never had that. I I didn't mean to hit that button. I didn't I didn't mean to hit that. I didn't know that they stayed on. Normally, pitch black, what? Normally stuff becomes invisible and bugs out whenever that happens. Why did I get that pitch black? Oh, jeez. I gotta be careful of where I break torches. I do not want stuff like that spawning in here. Every, everything in here needs to be as lit as possible. Nothing can spawn in here. All right, so this is where things get a little complicated. So maybe what I could do is I can make a bigger pen for two of them and have those be my breeders. I mean, the babies potentially could fit through a single block space. So I could have it be like an infinite breeder where... Then again, is four of them enough? I don't really see myself using more than four, but well, one of them's under leveled, so I guess... Let's go get their food. And let's feed them while I'm doing this. And we'll see if any of them make any more gold babies. Because I feel like I might just be overcomplicating this. I don't really need a crazy ton of gold bookworms. Um, yeah, you two. You make a baby. Did you just... Don't break the leads. Okay, they're both purple. Should I? Should I? Um, you guys can kind of just roam the house for now. Eventually, you'll disappear, maybe. I mean, I could use these testers to see how much space I would need. Anyways, let's... I, I, God, I don't know. I really don't know. Another problem is you can't place chests, like, next to each other in this. So you only have... So if I want to do a breeder, for example, I could do like this. Right? And have it be like that. Except that kind of just doesn't work that well because it the hoppers would become it would, it would take up too much space see like if i added hoppers what i could do potentially is i can go plonk 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 and then for the center part i could put a hopper that leads into that side and then i could put a hopper that leads into that side so that way all of these go into these two these two chests. And that way I could... I mean, that's already so not great looking. And then the bookworm would kind of just chill right here. And then I could probably... I could either give him glass. I mean, glass would be more efficient if you think about it. Oh wait, glass is completely invisible in this. I... Ah, uh, why? Why does the shader do that? I could do... Oh man, that ruins all my plans. 
I can do stained glass. I have like what? I have so much stuff in my inventory. Try stained glass. I can try red glass. Try white and red. So like I could do kind of like that. And that would be like. Oops, I did not mean for that to go there. I mean, if- oh my god, I can totally place blocks, I swear. I mean, that- that could work, right? And then what we could do, is we can get some demon brick. We can get some demon stone brick. And we can get some regular stone brick. And we can kind of like make it nice, right? I can kind of like, I mean, I could close in this part entirely so you don't see it. Um, and I could put like two lights in there, right? So what if we do that? So we get our redstone torches, pop them there and there, get two lamps, pop them there and there just so they add some extra light. Just to further reduce the chance of things accidentally spawning in there. Ooh, that makes the chest glow. Ooh, I do not like when the chests glow. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I wouldn't say it looked good, but it, de it definitely doesn't look bad. And then the little dudes would just be hanging out up here. Maybe I should change this to red stained glass. Maybe red stained glass would make this look nicer. I'm really... I've been kind of putting this off because I don't know what I want it to look like up here. Honestly. So if we try like red stained glass... Alright, that already looks significantly better than the white. I just don't like the color white. White's a pretty ugly color for most things. Yeah, well... Mm. And then what? I just like dome them off. It's like I put it too high so they can't get out. And then I could potentially, I could put two of them inside of each pen, right? And they could keep making babies. Ooh, yeah, wait a second. Wait a second. Hold up. Big brain thought. Oh wait, there's, there's the hopper there. Hmm. See, if I put a trap door there, it's not going to work. I was saying I could put a trap door, I mean, it could still be big brain. I could put a trap door on the side here, right? I mean, I might just be overcomplicating it because I can't just jump up like this. It is only too high, you know, but I could get like a trap to my inventory. It's so rough. Let's just, let's put a chest like here and stuff that I'm not going to get to yet. I don't need in my inventory. It's so like anvils, that kind of stuff. I just use those. I'm not going to use those. The leads. The white, I'm not going to use. Uh, that that should be fine. That's, that's too much stuff in my inventory. So it definitely doesn't look bad. I'm thinking maybe the, the walls on the side should also be the demon brick. Um, And then I don't have any oak wood. Let me get some oak wood and we can make a trapdoor. I think that works. And then we'll have the trapdoor right there, right? And then when the baby spawns, I can just do that. And the baby will come out. And the big boys can't come out. Um, Where did my small boys go? I can actually test that out. What? Oh, what? Okay. You know. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, So problem is... See, when I'm up here, I can't, like, lift. Oh, I can't even see to get over top of... We drop you in. And the tester is, if I open this, will you come out? Like, let's say I open it, and I grab a lead. Let's say I lead him. Oh, what? Yep, there he goes! Yes! Yeah! It works! I really want to kill them, but they're so cute, I can't kill them. Why? I would feel so awful. Okay, um... That's good, that's good, that's... 
stunks. And then I could, before I put anyone up here, let's go ahead and grab some more of these. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Just so that way it looks a little better. How does that look? Oh yeah, that's much better. I'm probably going to take the lights out of here though. I'm, yeah, it's, it's a bit much. I might just fill it in with actual blocks, so that way nothing can spawn in there. But, yeah. Um, it's a little weird looking. I'll give you that. But it's okay. Um, so are you guys ready to mate again? Yeah, boy, always ready to mate. So you, and you... Wait, are you off the lead? Not golden. Did you get off your lead? No, th there's still four leads. Not golden. Why are you guys failing me? Oh, this is an opportunity. All right. Uh, don't, don't. Mm, don't be mad at me, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just a video game. They're not real. They're not real. I'm sorry. I'm a monster. I'm a monster. Oh, that's that's real rough. Um, so we're gonna get you off of your lead. Get you off your lead. Oh uh, wait, which one of you is oh no, you need to be re-leaded. You st stop. Thank you. So you need to be off your lead and you need to be off your lead. So we're gonna do we're going to grab you, since you're level 30. And this is going to be like, killing two stones and... What? Killing two stones, that's funny. This is going to be killing two birds with one stone. So we're going to have two golden boys up here producing books. Give me you. Two golden, bo two golden boys up here producing books. Which I could also feed them through the trap doors. Are you, are you, are you? Yeah. All right, so let's, let's check to make sure this is. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Freaking Enderman. Uh, I might put iron golems in here as well as, as well as Aegis's. We'll see. All right, we're going to run over to the other place, grab a bunch of trash books and see how easy it is to feed the boys because if I can feed the boys from that little trap door and if they poop out books you know we'll be we'll be good the thing is feeding them both is gonna be a little problematic so you guys can't get out right feed you feed you so you got levels and you've got levels let's go and now they produce books subject science Attacks have a chance to explode. That is... Ooh, that is intense. And fling. Let's go! It works! And if they produce babies, the babies can come out of the trap doors. Maybe I should put trap doors on all the sides. Just so that way I have access to them from all sides. Knock back two. Can I click the other chest from here? No. That's the only kind of annoying part. I just wanted it so that way I can they can keep producing even if I, you know, don't have the space. That's really good. Alright, so you guys definitely have to mate again. And we're going to make more of these. So we're going to like line this up all the way down here. That's going to be the plan for that. I mean, if I keep this spot open like this, I can essentially access both chests. I might actually leave it lit up like that as well. I kind of like it. Digested levels 13. You guys produce really fast. That's... That's the thing that concerns me, is I don't think I'm ever gonna, you know, be able to just keep up with how much these guys produce. Bookworms are cool, but they're kind of too much work. Uh, but now we have to make a villager farm. So I'm gonna clean out my inventory real quick. And we're gonna work on a quick villager farm that can- a quick villager breeder. So we can work on getting better villagers. I don't want to have to go out to get villagers. That's- 
not Pog. All right, so I looked up this little guide for a old fashioned villager farm and it's pretty simple to make. So I made this, uh, there are some doors underneath. I don't have a lily pad, I don't feel like going to get one. So baby villagers could technically walk underneath this if they wanted to. I kind of don't care, it's fine. So what we're... Oh, this is still in my offhand. I was like, what? It just blew my mind. Let's take that out of my offhand so I don't have to keep worrying about that. Um, so I could villager proof this so the villagers don't die. I probably should. I probably should. Um, I'm thinking about maybe what I could do is just place like glass on the top of these walls. So that way nothing can get up to them. Um, zombies and such can hit them through one, one thick of these walls. So I would definitely need two thick. But I'm thinking what I could literally do is just kind of place invisible glass all along, you know, the edge up here. Not, not there. Just so that way nothing can kind of get to them. RL Crafts makes everything difficult. It makes it really hard to properly protect the things that you've gotten. I could just kind of take them from this side. So this side is way safer now. They can't get hit through the wall. Um, if something spawns in here, they're kind of dead, but villagers are pretty easy to come by, so I'm not the most concerned. Alright buddy, we can either do this the easy way or the hard way. You need to pick. I'm letting you out. And I'm probably just gonna have to pick him up. He's not moving. He's like, I've been trapped in my prison for- oh! I've been trapped in- wow, I just fell from my own- my own honeypot, look at that. Oop, plonk you in there. And we're gonna grab one of you. And the more I have in here, the more you guys can actually- the faster you guys can breed. So, plonk you in there. I've gotta feed them, I gotta plant carrots. And I think that's pretty much it. Feed them, plant carrots, and... They should just start breeding. Luckily, they don't need beds. It's not like the villager pillage update. Villagers do not need lots of beds. Oh look, they've already somehow got crops and they're already planting the crops. What? Dude, what? I, of course I did. You guys are already doing work for me. Look at that. Oh, I just realized the guide said that I should not place the doors before I feed them. That's, that's fine. Who's hungry? Who's hungry? Are you guys hungry? Who's hungry? Pick up the crops. Pick them up. Hungry. Hungry, hungry. Hungry. Eat the carrots. Oh, this is kind of like a two-in-one for me because I actually needed carrots for a golden carrot farm. So we're gonna go get some more carrots, plant all that, and hope that they still breed anyways. I've got an okay amount of carrots, so I should be, should definitely be good. And there goes, that's going to happen so often. I'm going to need to put a chest in front of this. I just realized crops grow faster when I'm, when I'm around them. So that's also something that'll happen. Oh, we got our first Aegis. Look. Ooh, I'm going to get a name tag and I'm going to drag them in here and make it so they can't leave. If I make the borders of the building so they can't leave, they'll totally not leave. Alright guys, start making me some babies. Make me some babies. I gift you all of the carrots I have. Start loving each other. It's up to you guys. It's up to you guys. Where, where did the ages go? Yes! Level 3, let's go. I'm gonna name this guy Hannah Montana. I don't know why it's the name that came to mind, but that's the name he's getting. He's gonna be Hannah Montana. Our first Aegis is gonna be Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana, I'm not sure if I spelled that right, but it is what it is. And if I name him, where did he go? No, come back. Where? Hannah Montana. Aha, he shouldn't despawn now. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over here. They still haven't made any babies. We're gonna grab him. 
We're going to drag him in here. And that's going to be his home now. Um, I mean, technically they can get out as long if I don't put like doors here. I don't want doors though. All right, guys, you're not making babies. Oh, jeez, it's going to happen every time, isn't it? I should make an actual way to get in and out. It's not just that. Guys, I, I need you to make babies. Guys. Guys. Okay, he picked those up. What if I give him a whole half stack? Okay, he picked them up. They should make babies soon, right? Whoa. Oh my god, they get the buffs. They run fast. They get all the same buffs that... That's kind of great. Nope, nope. Hannah Montana, you stay in here. I mean, more Aegises will start to spawn. It'll be fine. This is kind of just what I'm waiting on now, is for you guys to make me some babies so I can have more villagers. Please? All right, let's go. Let's trade him some coal. This fine man wants some coal. I need to clean out my inventory first. My inventory is awful. You know, actually, I think I just realized... Don't break it. Don't break it. Nice. I think I just realized what I did wrong. Wherever you put the doors, you're supposed to put like a glass block. Um, I did not do that. So the villagers couldn't see the doors. Maybe that's why they're not breeding. So I think I just built the farm wrong. And then I could just like skill crane all the guys out that I want. Look at them go. Look at them harvesting crops. I don't remember where I put the doors. So you guys see the doors now. Are you going to make babies? See, Arlcraft could mess with this too. I don't know. You, you going to make babies? I don't have any more carrots for you guys. Because you kind of took them all. I'm going to trade with them at least. While I'm waiting. See, they're taking the carrots. And the carrots are filling their inventories. They could see the doors now as well. Hmm. Let me double check make sure I'm doing this right. Well, I did it right, and I'm not sure what's wrong with it, but um, on the bright side, I've got tons of Aegises spawning now. Okay, well, maybe we can make some better of these guys. Oh, you're fully grown. Okay, more, more purples. Come on. Come on, my dude. Oh, he's so cute. I can't believe I'm going to do this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It has to be done. Oh, I'm so sorry. You guys are killing me. Make some babies, damn it. Okay, I'm gonna take some of your carrots. So I can at least replenish my carrots. Luckily, because I have the skill where crops grow fast, their carrots are pretty much like, they'll keep just mad producing. So the only things that are different between my farm and the video I watched is I put a put a lamp down there for light and I don't have a lily pad on top of this. So the lily pad is only for the small villagers though. It wouldn't make a difference. Look at how many Aegises we have in here now. There's Hannah Montana. You got this Dark Aegis. We got this guy. We got that guy and they're all level 3 now. And yet, you guys still don't want to make babies. Disappointments. You guys should... I'm pretty sure this version of these guys will still... I see hearts. Those hearts? Nope. I accidentally attacked him, apparently. How did I even? Are you for real? Are you going to attack me, too? You guys suck. That's not even cool. I didn't even hit him. Officer, I swear. Well, all my new- Hannah Montana's dead now. That was a short live. Can I get a rest in peace for Hannah Montana in the comments? Alright, so I was thinking we could put like a sugarcane farm right here. Have it be one of the old fashioned ones. It's got a couple of lines of sugarcane. It's got an observer and pistons. And they just push the sugarcane over into a water trap which pushes it into a hopper and goes into a chest. So that way we can generate lots of sugarcane and we can also have carrots going on over here. And we can use them to trade with these 
stingy nerds that don't want to give me what I want. So I need a crafting table right here. And I'm going to make paper. And we're going to see if trading with these guys makes it any easier. I need a better way in and out. Maybe I could do like trapdoor. Where did the trapdoor go? So I could do like this trapdoor and oak wood, make another trapdoor. And then what I could do is like that. And then whenever I want to come in, I do that and they still can't get out. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> you guys thought you were so clever, huh? So clever, but you were wrong. All right, so I'm looking at possible you know, problems with this, and one of the possible problems was that they don't have natural light. No natural light is reaching the doors? And then some people also suggest using iron golems, like spawning iron golems. So, I was going to do that anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to get a whole bunch of iron blocks, and we're going to spawn some iron golem boys in there, since that, like I said in, in a couple episodes ago, is a maximum security prison. So... We have to treat it as a maximum security prison. And there's going to be prison wardens. This way the villagers will feel safe. I mean, Aegis's replace natural iron golem spawns. Did I just take damage? Alright. We got one of you boys. Are you guys going to start mating now? I'll even, I'll even make more. Right? It's a buy two, get one free deal. Uh, excuse you? That definitely should not happen. That dude's just leaving. Why does that happen? He really wants to be in there, but he's, he's not gonna, he's not gonna be in there. I, it's, it's not, it's not changing anything. Buddy, you need to be in here. Do I need to make it so that these guys can't leave? So that my, because the Aegis is left as well. All right, they're still not breeding. Um, another idea is natural light. So like potentially I could give them, let's make it daytime before I do this. Uh, because I'm not trying to have stuff come in the roof. But if I give them some natural light, as in like I put glass up top, then maybe that will be the issue. I'm hoping that's the case. I need villagers. I've spent this whole episode not getting villagers. Oh boy. Yeah, so this happens. Um, I forgot what it was they combined with. But uh, Aegis's can combine with something that spawns a sylph. I think it might be those glowing things. Dude, this guy's strong. Uh, okay, so that didn't work. We're going to try the natural light. Yeah, I am really glad that I have uh, lots of healing going on here because of the beacon. These guys all get healing from the beacon. Because uh, one of those poison boys just spawned. I was punching the, the stuff. Yeah. Didn't even think about that. Arnoldcraft really doesn't stop. Please don't spawn another. Alright, so I, uh, I broke out the roof. It didn't do anything. I made more space over here on top of the doors with the glass. Didn't do anything. See, I did this. It looks like trash, but I mean... I'm just trying to get, you know, some production here. I don't really care if it immediately looks like trash. And yeah, so far, nothing. Nobody's, nobody's trying to smash. So I'm going to keep looking up issues with it on Reddit and see if I can find a good solution. So far I've tried all the solutions I've seen and none of them have worked, but it, it definitely does work in Arlcraft. You just gotta figure out how and why it's not working. They don't need beds, right? It's 1.12, but I could try placing beds and see if that changes anything, right? Let's try making beds and we'll see what happens. I was, oh my God, really? There's an event. Event just spawned. They just... Are you for real? Is this a joke? I looked down at my phone for five minutes. Five minutes! I was away for five minutes and a swarm spawns. 
and murders all of my- I haven't even made the villager farm yet. And they're all dead. Alright, more importantly... Yeah. The event... Yeah, we're, we're good. The event... Okay. Um... God, dude, that's so ridiculous. Well, villagers can't mate now. Because they're dead. Uh, that's, uh... I'm glad that these kind of mobs don't become hostile towards... Like, bookworms. Still purple. So I don't have to worry about the bookworms, but, I mean... All of my villagers just, just died. And there's, there's the poop charge that you can get. Yay! Wow. Alright, well... Oh, there's so many. Look at all the things. Wait, did they make hives? Hold up, hold up. Rock. Get. Guys. Guys. They're not inside this house, are they, by my dogs? No, my dogs are fine. Oh my god, what is this? Is this- okay. Rock, you come over here. We're gonna- we're gonna take- we're gonna take a ride here. They're making hives! There's- there's so many- You know- you know what? We're not- we're not dealing with this. We're not dealing with this. This is not happening. You guys killed the villager farm that I was literally- literally just working on. That's right, get him, boys. And now you've made, like, little nests and crap all over my sky. What are these? You guys are the worst! Oh, man. Look at- Aw, oh, dude. You know, this episode... Could've gone better. Could've definitely gone better. We made a villager farm. There's just no villagers. They all died because of the... The great waspening that happened. I didn't have my earbuds in. I looked away from the screen for like... Five minutes. And I just... I looked back and, I, and it says... No longer spawning wasps. And I was like... What? This, this is so irritating. Some of you are arrow-proof, too. You. No, not you. One of you is arrow-proof. Why do they keep... Oh, dude, they keep spawning. You guys are the worst! What do they drop? What is this stuff? They drop a tough clay-like substance created by Vespids, usually... From hives, whatever. Guys. Guys. Come on now. You don't even hurt me. You're just annoying. The, the worst thing about it is I don't think they actually would have spawned down there that much. Or the ones that did the iron golems got. Um, I think the ones that got in there came from up here, right? And the iron golems killed everything else. This is so dumb. Come on. Come on, friend. And now I've got your stupid hives, like, all over... Do, they, do the hives despawn? There's less of them now. There was a lot more hives. They, they must despawn. Maybe... Maybe they spawn more mobs. Okay, yeah, you guys, you wisps, you gotta go. You combine with Aegis's and you make sylphs. You. You must go. I am not sorry. Anything in here? Yep, this was a very, this is a very unsuccessful episode. Ah. Uh, wow. I just made this and they're all dead. One single event killed all of my villagers. 
single event. I mean, these are the replaceable ones, like I said. So I'm not the most upset about it. I mean, I would have liked to start breeding. That would have, you know, been the preferred thing to happen this episode. But <laughs> and we still got these guys, right? We still got the important ones. They, nothing spawned in there. This event proved to be... It, it proved that this works, right? So I can't be too upset. And we, we have our, our bookworms going on up here, right? Our bookworms are over here doing their thing. Uh, let's, let's breed them before we go. Let's see if we can make a gold boy. So boop, boop, gold boy. No, I'm sorry, friend. Hey, 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 don't. I'm sorry, friend. I expected to accomplish a lot more this episode, but that has been it for this episode, guys. If you do like the series, don't forget to leave a like. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. In the next episode, I would like to work on villagers. I think I'm going to go work on villagers a little bit off camera, try to get some more replacements and see if I can get the stupid farm working. And we'll, I'll update you in the next episode about, you know, which kind of enchantments we do get. Um, villager breeding is going to be a passive thing because it, it's, it's like the bookworms essentially, you know, it takes, it takes a lot of time to do. So I'm not going to try to force it all in one episode. We got this though. We got this cool little like bookworm contraption where this is going to be how we do our bookworms, we can feed them, we can breed them, and the babies come out. And we can eventually put more bookworms down here. And our villager farm will be there, and we'll have a whole wall full of villagers and nymphs. And it'll be good, we can work on our new armor. But yep, that has been it for this episode. I will see you all in the next one. It's been Pain Domination. Peace!